Hello everyone, welcome to the Gadget Gamers Unite channel. Today we are going to talk about the Miu Mini Plus, the cardless version, and how we should perform some operations with it, including installing the Onion OS. Right now, the product we have here is the cardless version, meaning it doesn't come with a TF card. So first, let's power it on. As we can see, this is the Miu system interface. We can check the settings. Then take a look at our device information. We can see that our firmware version is 20,230,628. This is a relatively up-to-date firmware version. If yours isn't 0628, you may need to go to the official website, download the latest firmware to update it. I've placed a link official firmware in the video link. description below. After checking that, let's power it off first. At this point, we need to prepare a TF card. This one of mine is a 60 for grams TF card. And there's an included accessory. This is a card reader that comes with the Miu Mini Plus purchase. So I'll plug both into the computer to demonstrate how to install the Onion OS. If the Miu Mini Plus handheld you received has a firmware version other than 0628, you can skip this step if it's version 0628. You can log on to this website. Switch to the English. There are Chinese and English options here. You can switch by clicking. Switch to the English. Then there's a firmware download section here. Find the Miu Mini Plus 0628 firmware. Click here to download it. There will be two files inside. Okay, after we download it, we'll get these two files after unzipping. There's a text document instruction here. Copy this IMG format file to a blank TF card. It must be a completely blank TF card. Then power off the handheld first Insert the TF card. Then plug in the USB charging cable. After a few seconds, a rocket icon will appear. It will upgrade our firmware. After the upgrade is complete, remove the TF card. And that's it. Then proceed to the next step. Now we're ready to install Onion OS. Prepare a blank TF card. This one I have is a blank memory card. If your card has existing data, remember to back it up first. Next, we need to format it first. Let's open the Rufus software. Then select the TF card we want to format. Then select non-bootable mode. Then choose FAT32. Click Start Directly Confirm. Then it will format it for us. After formatting, we enter this website address. I'll put this link in the video description below. Then click on the Onion V4 for Beta 2 version. Don't download version 4.3.1. I remember its online multiplayer function has flaws. If you play against friends or play together, there might be issues. So download this v4.4 Beta 2 version. Click on it. Then we scroll down. Find this compressed file. Download the zip compressed package. Okay, after the download is complete, you'll get these files after unzipping. 
Then copy them to our memory card. Paste it in. Alright, after we're done with the TF card, we insert it into the handheld and power it on. Okay, we can see this is version 4.4.0 beta here. Onion V4. All right, press the A button to continue. There will be some introductions here. You can take a quick look at them. Then this is a button usage guide. Saving the archive is R2. Reading the archive is L2. Then there are still some menu keys. Long press to exit to the main menu. And so on. You can explore these on your own. Let's move to the next step. Next step. Then it starts loading. At this step, you can select all. I'll skip through quickly. Then start. Start. Okay, now we've officially entered the system. Now we can see. This is the Onion OS interface. We can use. There is an app here. Where you can search for the games you want. This is the theme settings. You can set your favorite theme. Ah, I like this theme better. Confirm installation. Okay, now our theme is set. Of course, you can also get help from forums, communities, or other users to customize these themes for you. Next, we'll power off the device, remove our memory card, and go to our computer to copy games into it. Okay, after inserting the memory card into the computer, it shows up as this icon. We open it. And there will be an additional ROMs folder here. You can copy your legally purchased official ROMs. Game ROMs. Into this folder. Then you can reinsert the TF card into the handheld. And start playing your games. Okay, launching our games will let us play normally. Okay, now we're in the game. I'm playing Good Boy Galaxy right now. Press this middle button to bring up our window. Then exit and return to our home screen if we want to continue playing. We can press this button, and then return to our game. Okay, it will load automatically.
That's all for this episode. Bye-bye.